Okay, I'm going to try and teach Henry the hide command. I've already done it with Elsa. Um, so I'm going to try and teach it with the same principles that I've taught it to her. To do this, I need masking tape. Yeah, just regular masking tape. And I'm just going to fold it around to make a loop. Stick it to itself. It's like a little loop. Okay. And I'm going to have treats at the ready so that I'm ready to mark the moment in time that he puts his paw over his nose. Um, and I'm going to stick this piece of masking tape onto his nose. It's masking tape, it won't hurt. Okay. And then when he tries to get it off, I'm going to mark that moment in time. Wait. That's not sticking like that, so let's put it on like this. Yes! Okay. So I'm setting it up so that he will move his paw in that fashion. And then when he does, I'm marking it and rewarding it. Yes. Over and over. Yes. Good. Once I've done that a couple of times, then I'm going to start pairing a visual um, cue to that. So I'm going to put it onto his nose. I'm going to, yes. So I'm pairing two things together. I'm pairing the way my my hand moves with him also doing the behaviour that I want him to do. Yes! This is the first time he's done it. Yes! Good job, buddy. Okay. This can often take several sessions, just this part. Yes! Yes! So once he's done a couple of repetitions of that, he's now all lost its stickiness, so beyond with plenty of it, um, and I've managed to pair a hand signal consistently, then I would start adding a verbal cue. Dogs are always more likely to follow a visual cue over a verbal one. And the reason for that is that they are, um, they communicate with each other through subtle body language over um, verbal communications, vocal communications far more. Okay, so dogs do bark, dogs do growl, dogs do whine. But in general, there's far more uh, communication going on body language wise, which is why they're so receptive to hand signals. Good boy. Our job then is to pair a hand signal with a verbal cue um, to make it more reliable. Okay, good boy, you hot? Go find your ball, okay. So um, that's part one, and I will document how we're kind of progressing with that daily until we've got it so that it's um, properly on a hand signal and a verbal. Okay, ready? Oh, and check out my really awesome new t-shirt. Just want to hang with my dog. Come here. Okay, yeah, so get some masking tape and start on that and then I'll do a step two.
potentially on that as well.